Hi guys! Do, 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 do. Welcome back to Produce Sorn with me today. I'm Sorn and I'm back with episode 2. So today, what I'll be talking about is about a life as a girl group. Because as you guys all know, even though I talk to you like this, I am still a singer. I'm still a member of a girl group. And I think you guys all know what girl group I'm from. And yeah, some of you might. Hi guys! I'm gonna wait a bit for everyone to just like come in and yeah, yo, 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 yo. Hello, 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 hello. สวัสดีค่ะนี่ฮาวอันยง Okay. Uh, one one thing that I want to say, I would like to thank you all of you guys for watching my videos. I've seen the viewers, the views on YouTube, and it's going up, up, up every single day, and I'm very proud um, because I think. For me myself personally, I put in a lot of work in these videos, and I really want to, you know, tell you guys good information and want to inspire you guys. So I actually, every single day during this weekend too, I stayed at this room making all these slides and like doing all these Photoshop and Photoshop and all these stuff for the best for you guys. So today, what we will be talking about is a life of a girl group. Um, and to not waste time, I will actually show you guys a PowerPoint presentation of my team members. Because I know some of you still doesn't really know a lot about CLC, so I will be telling you the first thing is let's go. So my our team we have a number of seven people. Sorry, I'm from Sunghee. Sung Hyun Lee, she's older than me. She's born in 1995, and she's the main vocalist of our team. We have Sung Yeon, she's the leader. She's the main dancer, and she's born in 1996. So we have three 1996 peeps here, and Yoo Jin, along with her. She's the lead dancer. She's the sub vocalist, and yeah, she looks like a mouse, right? She has a really small face, and yes, I have never seen anyone face as small as her before. But yep, uh, we have Ye Eun. She's the main rapper, and she's the sub vocalist, born in 1998. Along with Elki, which is the same age as her, she's from Hong Kong. She's the new member of our team that joined in um, of the album. Yeah, she just joined in, and she's born in 1998. Also, and also we have Eun Bin, our Mangne, the last member of our team. She's born in 2000. I know she's young. I know she's young. She's young, and she's young. Yep. Yeah, she's the sub rapper and sub vocalist of our team, and you might have seen her before in Produce 101, the female version. Plus, me, yes, me. I'm Soren. I'm from Thailand. I'm born in 1996, and I am the host of the show today. And yeah, I hope you guys have fun. Plus six plus one equals CLC. Yay! Yeah, this is the picture of our team. I've made this video. I mean, what am I talking about? Yeah, yes, 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 this is what happens. And yes, I am going to move back to here. Okay, so as you all know, yeah, and let's have some music today. I will be introducing, I will use this time to kind of like promote our team because I know our team haven't been on TV for a while. So for those of you who don't know who's our, what our songs are, I will just tell you guys a brief story about CLC. Okay, so CLC, five of us, we originally have five people and we started off with doing this like busking at Hongdae, which is a shopping, just like kind of like place where teenager goes and hang out um, in Hongdae in long time ago. We did that for six months and we were trying to raise money to help kids with disabilities. And yeah, we got a lot of good responses from that. And most fans that we have now today are mostly fans that we got from the busking part. And along with that, we also made this kind of like TV program to go along called um, Love Chemistry. And we got a lot of good feedback. So basically, our members, all of us, we can play each um, instrument each, like piano, tembe, percussion, guitar, and yeah. And we were doing that for six months. That's why. That's why CLC not only can sing and dance, we can also play instrument, and we can do like a cappella and harmonize, do all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want to see more videos of that, you guys can look on YouTube, and just type CLC busking. Yep, 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 yep. And yep, CLC Crystal Clear stands stands for Crystal Clear. 
five members. That's the picture that Key released when we first debuted. And yeah, that was so, it wasn't a long time ago. Oh, okay, let me introduce if you guys know Pepe. That was when we were, I was so young back then. I can't believe I used the time to actually cut all the music videos. That was our first music video. I can still remember that day. I was so excited. And then didn't blah, blah, blah. I mean I didn't know what to do. Yep, in 2015 we came we released the next song which was like right away. You can basically see that the color of the music video is very colorful. Dip, 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 dip. You guys can't hear the music? Ah, so the mouse is not doing that well. Guys, I am very sorry. I'll show you guys again. This program, I am not used to this yet. So, okay, let me fix something. I actually made all of these slides and stuff. So, if there's any technical difficulties, it is all my fault because I made everything and okay I think something is wrong this because wait a minute guys it will not take long video media source okay you can sing instead Soren I can sing instead you want me to sing uh, I think it's um huh. okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I am not a technician, so I don't really know. <laughs> Anyways, I think the song will come up. I was gonna put that show so that you guys can like dance along with it. Damn it! <sighs> Please wait. I am very frustrated with this application because I've never done any live streaming before, and for me to be guys, calm down. I mean, I have to be the one who has to calm down, right? Right, 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 right. So while we wait for the sound, how was your day? Did you guys do anything, anything fun? What do you guys do on um, weekend? You know, in Seoul right now, the weather is so good. And um, I personally want you guys to come and, you know, visit Seoul because I think that the weather right now is so good. It's like not hot and not too cold. Let me use this time. I am now... I am going to a I Oh, you go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Day. This application is not yet ready, so. Cham, this cham. You guys tell me if you guys know this song. Okay.
Okay, so let's pretend nothing happened before and let's start again. So this is our song that we did in 2015. It's called Pink Pink. And in 2015, we also did a song called Okay, I is it still louder than my voice? Okay, then. Can you hear my voice now? Is it okay? Is my voice louder than the music? It's better. Okay, it's better. Okay, it's better. It's better. Okay, it's better. okay next song is. Okay, perfect. Better, better. Okay, I'm sorry. It's my. It's actually my fir first episode trying to put in music. Woo! Woo! And yes, in 2017, just. Now we just re we just released an album called Crystal with the new look, the girl crush look of the album. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. So basically, we transform a lot from being a cutie cutie style into like you know some EDM. Thanks to her from Hanaoni for doing this. And I would like to use this time to introduce our official new two members, Elki. She's from Hong Kong. She's um, She did lots of acting in Hong Kong before. So I think many of you might know her. And also Eunbin, she's now the Mangne of my team. She's born in 2000. And she's known for like the giant baby because she's so tall. And you can see her, I think you guys have seen her before in um, Produce 101. So, yep. Yeah! Okay, guys, I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties that happened. Um, oh! What just happened? Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I have to remove a video. Okay. For those of you who wants to do a live streaming, I'll tell you it's not... Uh, easy job to do. You guys have to like actually control everything, put all the medias in, put all the songs in, make sure the mics work, make sure the music works, make sure everything's work. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's... Today's topic is about girl group, right? So I'm going to start with a lot of questions that I've been asked since I debuted. So the first question is, what did it feel like when you found out that you were finally going to debut? Um, it was very, very exciting for me to finally found, find that I'm going to debut because before we became the CLC you see now on TV, we actually went through a lot of training, a lot of stress, a lot of pressure from the company, a lot of practicing, a lot of editing. Because, like, and by, at that time, I think there were quite a lot of girl group that came out in 2015. So pretty much it was not only stressful for, for us before we went out, we also had to, you know, look at all the competitors that were already out there in the market. And uh, I actually have a video again. I hope that works. <laughs> yep. So when we first debuted, we started off we had this showcase for our first love, al the name of our album, and we basically did all these acoustic 
um, guitar and all this, all the stuff that we did in Hongdae because people actually remember us from being the girls who played music in Hongdae more than an actual um, girl group. Because we actually lied to everyone that we're actually people who just wants to make music and we just gather up every Sunday to play music. But obviously we lied, so yeah. We started off the showcase by coming down from like this like swing that was freaking high and I was freaking out because I was never on a swing. I never had to sing that high before. Almost peed my pants, but I was fine. And that was Pepe, our first performance in front of the press and the fans. And also my family members. On that day, my family members came, I think about eight or nine. We have a really big family. So my mom came, my dad came, my sister, my cousin, everyone came to give me you know, support and to show them their love because they knew that's my dad and my mom again. Yo, they're actually in Hong Kong right now. Yeah, that's why did I say that? Um, yeah, and I want to thank you all the fans who came on that day because those fans that actually came on that day are still fans that still support us now. And I would like to say thank you. Like seriously, thank you. There's no sound, guys. There's just no sound. No sound. Don't freak out, there's no sound. I mute all the sounds because I wanted to explain everything through my voice. Um, so we did our first performance, Pepe on M Countdown. Yep, and I was very excited. Why? The reason why I was excited because it was my first time seeing myself on an actual TV. And to practice by looking at the mirror, you know how we practice in front of the mirror, right? From that, transforming into an actual TV, actual broadcast, where everyone around the world sees me, sees the team, not only in Korea, but also from around the world. And to be able to go out there and show everyone that we've been practicing so hard, and this is us, this is COC, show them the power and all that, was really excited because, as you guys all know, there is a lot of competition in the K-pop industry. You not only have to be pretty, you also have to be talented. You also need to have the it factor, something that's different from other girl group. Because now out there in the market, there is so many girl group. I, I'll tell you, at, I think at that year, 2015, there were about 150 girl groups that, I, I don't know if it's girl group or not, but, or groups that came out only on 2015. And only some of them are left until today, 2017. So the teams that make it still, you know, do music and do all that, but see, teams that doesn't make it just disappear. So you guys can bas basically see how hard it is to survive in the industry. And yeah, if you guys want to see more videos, you guys can go to our Cube channel. Our production team has edit and did a good job on editing and all that so it's pretty fun you guys might want to go see it yeah okay next question okay next question is any struggles or difficulties as a foreigner working in the k-pop industry do people treat you differently mm. the difficulties I think there's not a lot of difficulties for me personally, but um, being a foreigner doesn't really make any big difference. The only difference is that if the, f if the person, if I wasn't good at Korean, then it gives me this disadvantage because then I wouldn't be able to give interviews. I wouldn't be able to go out on variety shows. I will not be able to understand what people are saying. I will not be able to communicate with fans during fan signs, which will give me a less opportunity to kind of show other people who I really am. ก็จะพูดภาษาไทยนะคะสำหรับ difficulty แล้วก็ struggle ที่สอนมีก็คือตัวสอนเองอ่ะไม่ได้แบบเหนื่อยอะไรขนาดนั้นแต่ว่าเหมือนการที่เราเป็นคนไทยและการที่เราพูดภาษาเกาหลีคือถ้าหมดสมมติว่าเป็นคนไทยที่พูดภาษาเกาหลีเป็นอะ่ะมันจะดีมากเพราะว่าเราสามารถให้อินเทอร์วิวได้เราสามารถไปออกรายการแบบบรายตี้โชว์ได้เราสามารถไปทําอะไรได้เยอะแยะมากมาย
้แล้วเราสามารถแสดงให้คนเกาหลีเห็นได้ว่าเราเป็นบุคลิกแบบนี้แต่ถ้าเกิดว่าเราไม่แข็งภาษาเนี่ยมันทําให้เราแบบกลายเป็นว่าเราไม่มีคอนฟิเดนซ์เราไม่มีความมั่นใจเราไม่กล้าพูดก็จะทําให้คนเขาไม่ค่อยรู้ว่าแบบเรามีคาแรคเตอร์แบบไหนใช่เจ๊เวกูกินเดจุ่มโอรสต้นจอมีเพลโลพูดตรงกว่าฉันเดเชอโรสก็นึ่งอ่อนนกว่าเทวนั่นอ๋อเนอะเลยหมดทำเหมือนอีเจ้าฮังกูมาเลยหมดทำเหมือนเย่หนึ่งตัวหมดหน้ากจีเพนซ่าเตะเพนซ่าดังสุดทงตัวหมดทจีคือเดี๋ยวอินเทอร์วิวให้เตะตัวไปตัวหมดทั้งอีเจ้าโปรแกรมหน้ากันเหมือนสุดทงอันเดนิก้าเนคเคอร์เรคเตอร์มุ่งไปอยู่จุนงอจานะยอคือจูนเนอร์เวกูกินิจิมันยักกันจุ่มโอ้จิสแค่เนี่ยคือรังก็ไม่ใช่ตัวหมดทั้งคือเนี่ยเออเนอะเตะมันเลยอร่อยตัวหมดจีตั้งก็นึง없는것같아요근데언어배우는것도쉬운일쉬운일아니잖아요그래서이제그리고오케이 and a thing that I'm very very I got really stressed out about is going on variety show because as you guys all know Korea is to be in the K-pop industry you you don't only have to know how to sing and dance you also know how to speak How to entertain, how to be funny, and that is like another character that you can show on TV. And variety show is very famous. I know, I I think in America you don't have variety shows, right? I heard from a friend that you guys don't have actually have variety show, but in Korea, in China, Japan, Thailand, well the countries that I know, um, to be able to go on variety show, you need to have a lot of skills. And yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you a, a slideshow of. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, so going about variety show. One of the variety show that I've went on is um, Idol T Sac. I think it's what it's called, like Idol Sports Day. And some of you might think, oh, just go out and chill and do all that. It's actually not that. Once I was able to do um, Yangung or. Are chilly, and I knew that if I go on the show, since there's like a hundred and fifty something other other artists on the actual place, we need to fight for our screen time. So sc screen time is very very important because if you your face shows more on TV, then people know more of who you are. An artist actually fights for screen show by showing something weird on the show, being funny. Or just like doing something really well. So if you go on that show, you either have to run really well, you either have to be really crazy doing something crazy, or like for me, I thought to myself that I had to, I had to like ten, 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 or else, it it wouldn't become like an issue. Yeah, and the next one is me going on Happy Together was actually the first show that I went by myself. The show that I went by myself alone, um, and I was really stressed out because one, I had to represent Thailand; two, I had to represent CLC; and three, I had to do everything I can to be. How do I say this? To be, to shine. Do, do, do we say to shine? I don't know. Just like, and yeah. So actually, when I was on that show, what I did by myself was. I was thinking to myself, what can I do to be interesting and funny and entertaining? So that's why I thought of this Sayo dance. I didn't know it was going to be that well of a response, but actually, people really liked it. And was I stressed when I was on the show? I was really stressed, even though I was smiling. But I was sweating like hell because everyone was speaking so fast, and it's actually different things you see on TV and things. That actually happen when filming is totally different. Things you see on TV are the stuff that the producer cut and edit and put in effects, put in sounds, put in text, put in stickers, all that. That's why it's entertaining. But things that actually happen when filming is just like you talking to your friend, and it's like you talking to eight other friends, and you're trying to steal each other. You you try to like talk on top of each other, and you're trying to at the same time be funny. And be special. I, I don't know how to explain. You guys know what I mean, right? So, 이제 이런 예능 나갈 때는 그렇게 쉬운 일이 안 
아니에요. 저는 제가 혼자 나가봤는데 이게 약간 그냥 가만히 앉아서 가만히 그냥 아 웃고 막 이렇게 할 수가 없고 리액션이나 막 표정 아 이렇게 해야 되고 그리고 분량을 뽑아야 되잖아요. 이제 내 얼굴이 TV에 많이 나오면은 이제 사람들이 나를 많이 알 많이 알게 되고 그래서 나가기 전에 준비를 정말 많이 해야 되고 그리고 나갈 때 이게 저 외국인인데 약간 장난칠 때 캐치 빨리빨리 해야 되는 그런 연습까지 아닌데 약간 예능 프로를 많이 보면 많이 도, 저는 예능 프로 나가기 전에 예능 프로도 좀 많이 봤고 그리고 개인기 같은 거 많이 연습했어요. 네, 그래서 예능 나가는 게 그렇게 쉽지는 않습니다. 여러분들이 이제 TV 집에서 막 보면서 웃고 막 그러잖아요. 근데 저는 되게 그할때 엄청 약간 뭐라고 해야 되지? 엄청 어려웠어요. 그냥. 아무튼 Yes. And the third one, I went on this show called Idol j a n c h i which this was more like a family show, not like a variety show. But a t this... But I still had to be entertaining because... Okay. So, a thing about going on variety variety show is that you can't forget that you're actually performing. Do you guys know what I mean? So, you ha of course you have to be yourself. And of course you can't fake, right? But you can't forget that there's camera everywhere. So, you can't be like... You have to give reaction, give responses, because the person who's going to watch on TV, they are not there with you, right? So you have to actually explain every single step. Example, like when I was on the show, we went to Bali, and when we land, the plane was landing, and the camera was there. So the first reaction that I had to do was, I can't be like, wah, wah, wah. If I keep doing wah, I'm going to get cut. And only two seconds of me doing that is going to be on TV. So if I want to be more, uh, if I want to help the production team cut the video and <laughs> bring um, good stuff out, then I have to be like, wow, 정말 예쁘다. 와, 발리 처음, 왔, 처음 왔어요. 와, 진짜 예쁜 것 같아요. And then I ask question to maybe you tell me, 오빠는 처음 왔어요? That's how you create 불량. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, so, it's actually very hard, and once we film all these stuff, you actually, I'm actually, I, I get really tired because I have to use all my energy that I have in my body to like, you know, put it all in the show to make, because I also have to think of the people who's watching on TV too. So I can't be too like, oh, to be, to be, be too comfortable or like relax on the show because I'm here to work, not to play around, right? And actually, the other, other members also went on variety show too. Like s u n g i Yeonni, she went on a show called Girl Spirit, and she had to sing. And if you guys seen um, the video of her, I I would say it's a really really hard thing to do to go on the show by yourself, no members, and to sing and to do to be on stage with how many people? I think eight. Are there nine other people? Respect, respect. Yep, and next we have Yeun on Running Man. Running Man is also another show that I think is very, very hard because you have all these s o m m e n i m so older um, singers and actors and all those uh, older seniors that has more experience than you and they know how to talk, they know how to entertain. So I think it's a really, really, really hard show to go on since Those people have been doing Running Man for who knows, like, I'm guessing five or six years. And it was, first time, it was the first time that Ye e u n i had to go out and, you know, represent CLC. And of course, she got a lot of pressure from the company because in Korea, not only, well, if the song become famous, then good luck. But if the song don't become famous, the company will start to send you to, like, do like dramas and all variety shows and do all that because if you actually do well and if people like you, you can actually become like famous within a night. Yep. 
And next we have Sunyani on Dream Team. She went out, I think she went, went twice, or three times, two times, twice. Yeah. And that was also hard too because she not only had to run and do all those things that I don't think I can do, um, she had to also win other contestants in the, t in the show. And Eunbin and Eugene on 동상이몽이죠? 동상이몽. I don't know what it, what it is in English. It's called 동상이몽. Yep. I don't know the English thing. If you guys know, can you guys please like type for me, please? Yeah, and um, those shows are, even though you don't have a lot of um, opportunity to talk, the thing you can do on the show, you can't just like sit there and be like, oh, yeah, sure, fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. At least you have to always be active and like at least clap or do reactions because those, vi those videos are going to cut it and put it in the show to be part of it. So respect for them too. And respect to Eugene. Respect, man. Paksu. She's actually... Okay, I think you guys all know what that is, right? Real men. Is it called real men too? Is it real mo woman? Real men, right? Okay, real men. Well, she's not a guy. She's a girl. But the show is called Real Men. So, um, she had to be. She had. To, she had to be this um, soldier. You know how s training as a soldier in Korea is like really hard, and she was on that show, and she's really thin, and she's really weak, but she shows the power. I'll say that that show is like. I don't even know if I can go that on that because I don't even know what they're talking about. Like the Korean that they use is just like like another language for me. So if you guys want to see her on Shinja Sana, you can also find it on YouTube also and other um, internet websites. And yeah, dude, like variety show is not only just being there, it's like being pretty and clapping your hands and being funny. You also have to do this like training, be a soldier and do all that. So. It's not easy. And she was on this um, comedy show also. More like acting and comedy at the same time, like live through TV. And this also goes to also with radio show. So radio show, it's not only you just sitting there and explaining who you are, what your song is, what your team is, what the concept is. But sometimes you get invited as a guest. And what you have to do is you have to be interesting, of course, and talk about interesting topics because being on the radio also it's not like sit there and you're, mm -hmm, uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm, uh -huh, just answer the DJ's question but you also have to like be engaged and be entertaining and yeah nothing is easy I, I feel like K-pop and like the artists in Thailand or artists in America I think it's really hard because since the competition of girl group and boy band is so high, there are so many people that the show can actually invite. So you have to be very interesting and unique and entertaining so that if those producers actually see you, they will invite you on the show. And that is very, very stressful for me. Because not only, ha not only I'm a foreigner, I have to be an interesting foreigner. I have to speak well, I have to be entertaining, I have to be funny, I have to sing well, dance well, do all that. And yeah, oh my god, 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 you guys gotta know what a program I use. But <laughs> I was not actually, but I wasn't really, didn't really have a hard time because in, Thai, in Korea, in K pop, we actually have a Thai, Thai group line or Thai, Thai artist line. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Thai line, so, so it wasn't really that hard for me since there were other um, Thai artists who's been here before me and they've been before me. And in K-pop, there's a lot of um, foreigner, so it's not that hard for a foreigner to be a singer here in Korea. Since the culture of music here is so international already, I, would, I didn't find any difficulties and, and all that. Yep. Well, and shout out to, if you see, I think you know who they are. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. My friends and brother and sister. And they're going to, through the same difficulties as I am going. So I would like you guys to give them lots of support and lots of love and appreciate how much work they've put every time they go on TV, every time they release an album, every time they film a music video. You know, it's hard, it's sweat and tears and yeah. And next is, have you ever felt like giving up? 포기해본 적 있냐고요? 포기해본 적 너무 많죠? There's lots of time when I wanted to give up because, because of many reasons. The biggest reason would be that I'm living in a foreign country and I'm not being able to see my parents, my friends, and the people is just different, you know? Like, from the culture that I was born in and the culture here is very different. And now that I'm a singer, I have to respect the culture, have to respect the people, have to understand them since I am in their country. So I kind of changed a lot. I became more, how do I say this? And I think it's a really good thing because it allows me to be more open-minded and understand other people more and be pro more professional because not only I have to work in Korea, every time we have international um, promotion, I have to go out, we all have to go out of country, like we have to go to Japan, pro Japan for a promotion, we went to China for a promotion, we went to you know, Philippines for a promotion, Malaysia for a promotion, and it allows me to kind of understand people from different country because I was like trained since I was young, since I was a trainee, because I was always living with, you know, other people from other countries, right? So, yeah. And another thing that I would feel like giving up is um, just every time I go out on a show or every time CLC goes out on the show and suddenly like we don't get the feedback that we want. And when we don't get the feedback that we want, of course the company is going to be like, oh, well, you guys didn't do well enough. And it's our fault because the person who has to do well is us, not the company, right? The company can only help you. This is a thing that one of the staff in here told me. His job is just to put us on stage. That's his job. But stuff that happens after they put us on stage, it's all our responsibility. Does that make sense? เขาพูดว่าสิ่งที่เขาสามารถทําได้ในฐานะสตาฟก็คือการที่จะเอานักร้องเนี่ยขึ้นเวทีแล้วนั้นที่เหลือก็คือหน้าที่ของคุณเพราะฉะนั้นมันก็เรียกว่าไงอ่ะมันก็ต้องมีเพรสเชอร์แล้วมันก็มีความกดม
You can't be successful without failing. Success and failing, it's, it comes in the box, right? You can't buy one, you have to buy two. I don't know why I said that, yep. Um, how, next question would be, yeah, don't give up. Don't give up, yep, guys. How do you motivate yourself as a singer? Any role models? How do I motivate myself as a singer? I motivate myself as a singer by, hmm. Me, personally, I always think, I always think about my parents. I always think about what my parents would feel. So I don't want to really, I don't want to disappoint them. So I always, every time I start a pro, every time we start a project, every time I go up on stage, every time we do all these like recordings and all that, I always think of the future and think of how um, my parents are going to think. Am I putting my best work in it? And not only my parents, but also the fans out there. Because I know every time we, every time the artist or CLC, we release an album, the person who supports us the most is our fans, right? And I don't want to disappoint you guys. So all my members are the same too. We do everything we can to be able to give you guys the best performance, the best music video, the best song, the best. That's why we go on freaking like diet and like, you know, we take care of ourselves. We try to give you guys the best that we can on stage. Because the job that we do, I'm able to do my job, this job as a singer, because I get support from you guys. I get support from the fans. And yeah, that's like, that's why a lot of Korean artists, K-pop artists, idols, I mean, you can see news of them like not eating, having eating disorders, going to the hospital, fainting, and what next? Getting injuries um, and all that because they put in a lot of work to make the best and to make everything perfect. So that's why they work hard, right? Um, role model would be my dad, no doubt. My dad is my role model because he was always my role model since I was young. He's been, my dad himself, he's been through a lot and in his life he's worked his work is really amazing. Like he works as a lot of, he had many jobs that doesn't relate to each other at all. I don't know how he does that. Like he was working with the government and then he works with the football team. And then he worked with the Taekwondo team in Thailand. And then he was, he became like a businessman and then he was doing that and that and he was doing acting too. And he was blah, 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 all over the place. So I see my dad as my role model because he actually shows me that you don't have to be good at one thing you can be good at lots of things only if you try and only if you have the courage to do it and have the confidence to do it you can actually do everything and I was actually talking to my one of my friends he was saying how um, he ha he's he actually has a lot of jobs so he can't say what kind of job he has because he likes a lot of things and he doesn't like people judging him for like having a lots of job because most people think that you can only be one, you can only walk on one path, but it's actually not true. Like humans, we can do lots of things only if you try and only have, if you have the commitment to do it, so. Yes, my dad worked for a football team in Thailand. Yep, 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 yep. Your dad is me. My dad is not you, my dad is in Hong Kong right now. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna speak Korean. Okay. 제 롤모델은요. 제 아빠인 것 같아요. 왜냐면 제 아빠는 옛날부터 일 너무 진짜 많은 일을 하셨고 그리고 아빠 일은 약간 너무 연결이 안 돼요. 이것도 하고 이것 이것도 하고 그냥 길 하나로 이렇게 가는 거 아니고 that that, 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 that. 그래서 저도 아빠처럼 되고 싶고 그리고 아빠도 뭐 어려움, 약간 업다운도 있었지만 그래도 지금까지 그냥 너무 잘 버티고 너무 멋있는 것 같아요. 그래서 아빠처럼 되고 싶습니다. 멋있죠? 예, 예. 오케이. 
Um, next is, what would you do if you weren't a singer? Um, what would I do if I weren't a singer? Um, I was, okay, this is really funny, but I always wanted to be a ballerina when I was, well, that was like, I was, I was four, so doesn't matter. Uh, I wanted to be a ballerina, but that was when I was young because I wanted to like wear those like, you know, cute skirts and like dance and do all that. But yeah, I always wanted to be a singer, but I took my time to Photoshop this thing. I don't know why I did that. On that day, I remember I was really bored, so that's why I did that. Um, so if I wasn't a singer, I would either be a fashion designer, an uh, interior designer, uh, what's that? What's that? Oh, a, trans a translator or what's that called? The one that you work with the computer and you draw pictures. Oh, graphic designing, right. Oh my god, I forgot English. Um, yeah, because I really like drawing and designing and I like learning language. So I think if I wasn't a singer, I would do something along that line. And that's not me. I Photoshop my face and put it on another person's body. So yeah, don't, don't freak out. I didn't, I didn't do that. Um, and next, ha ha hot, 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 hot. Um, okay, so let's get into details about album and comeback preparation, stuff that you guys I know a lot of people are cute. Okay, I can't, okay, I have to move. No, 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 that's it. <laughs> okay. The screen I see is the opposite side from you guys see what you guys are seeing. So it's very <laughs> complicated for me to move around. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. So for the album and combat preparations, it's actually not easy. It's very hard. It's a very long and detailed steps. So, 제가 이제부터 앨범이랑 컴백 준비 어떻게 하는지 알려드리겠습니다. Go well, I love me, 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 I love มาดูกันนะโอเคก็โอเค the first thing we do is we receive and record the tracks oh, okay receive and record the tracks we get the confirm from the company for the song and we do meeting for the concert for the outfit for the makeup and hair we do the choreography so we learn the dance then we practice and we edit the dance and then we do the album. Once everything is done as a package, we do the album cover shoot, and then we do the music video shoot, and then we do the teaser. Oh, and then after that, they do the teaser pictures release along with the tracks. So the stuff you guys see on YouTube where like there's only like when there's a picture and there's a short um, teaser for each track, I think you guys all know. Um, and then you actually do the actual album release with the title the song, actual song and the music video. You do the showcase for both the press and the fans. And then we go up on stage for our first stage performance. And I will translate that into uh, Korean. Um, 네, 이제 앨범 준비할 때마다 이 스텝은 딱, 이, 딱 이렇게 돼요, 저희는. 저희 노래 받고 녹음하고 이제 녹음 타이틀곡 컨펌 받으면 미팅을 해요. 뭐 화장, 컨셉, 옷, 뭐 뮤비 이제 재킷 찍을 때 어떻게 찍, 찍을지 그런 회의하고 그리고 안무를 배우고 안무를 배우면서 수정도 하고 또 연습하고 또 수정하고 그게 다 완성되면 이제 재킷 앨범이랑 그 안에 들어가 있는 사진들이 이제 같이 찍고 그리고 뮤비 찍고 그리고 그게 다 완성되면 또 이제 티저 사진 그리고 음원 티저 나오죠. 그 나오면 또막뭐 
21일날 막 컴백 이렇게 하면은 이제 알, 앨범 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 알, 앨, 으, 앨범 앨범 나오고 뮤비도 나오고 그리고 저희가 쇼케이스에서 첫 무대를 해요. 그 쇼케이스에서는 팬들 앞에서 하고 그리고 프레스 기자분 안, 어, 앞에서 무대하고 그리고 마지막은 이제 첫 무대 방송국에서 방송 음악 방송에서 컴백을 합니다. 네네네. Yeah. Yeah, so that's basically what we do for a comeback. But before comeback, we, you know, practice singing, practice dancing, we go on a diet, and we get ourselves fit so that we can be able to get the stamina and, like, all the energy that we have to use for um, the actual comeback. Yeah. And, okay. I'm going to tell you, so this, may, this might give you guys some idea. Um, when I was... For this comeback for a Hop Goblin for Crystal, I was able to show the company about the like the guideline. I mean, the concept that we wanted to do as a team. So I actually made like this PowerPoint presentation. And for those of you who read the news already, you guys might know that um, we were actually able to get engaged with the concept for this album. So for those of you who wants to make you guys want to make your own. This is what I did. So basically, I just made this like um, PowerPoint presentation, just you know, explain about the concept that we wanted to do. Put in example pictures. You guys seeing it, right? Yeah. Putting all the pictures. Put in the descriptions. And a calling point. Put all the points. This was for Hobgoblin. Um, and yeah, just steal a bunch of pictures from the internet and just put it, crash it in a PPT. And the shoe style, wanted to put on heels, blah, blah, blah. Album cover, color scenes vibe, all the vibe, the colors, and all that that we wanted to do for the actual album. And this is the PowerPoint presentation that me and all our team, we work together to do this. So yeah, just, that's a secret, so that's all I'm going to show. This is actually how everyone works. And I think if you guys work, some of you in um, other work to would do like this. Uh, and also, but the person who did the most work for this album was Hyuna Onni because I've heard, I saw her PowerPoint presentation and it was like a hundred page long. So, and I've learned a lot from her because to see that, because we're a rookie, right? And we've never done our own, like, actual, like, f how do I say this? I've never done anything like this. We've never done anything like this before. And to see how much she puts in her work, like, my slide was only 10 slides, like, 8 slides long. But hers was, like, 100 slides long. So I saw that, and I'm like, oh, my God, damn, like, have to work hard. I have to work harder, you know. Yeah. So if you want to make something perfect, then you have to work hard for it. And you have to put all your energy and do lots of research and really think deep about it so that you can be, be able to make the perfect product. That's my tip. And next, winning on a music broadcasting station. OK, I was going to talk about because my one of my friends, she told me to add this slide because she was always asking me about she doesn't really like K-pop. She doesn't know a lot about K-pop, but she she asked me that, "Hey, like, why do K-pop singers why do they like cry on stage when they get the trophy?" And the reason why they cry on stage is in Korea they have a thing called music broadcasting station. This I'm not sure what country still has it, but I know that I know Japan still has it, and Korea has it, but not in Thailand. Thailand. We, it's dead already. Music broadcasting station is all dead because music is not doing well in Thailand. And yeah, in Korea, they still have the culture of you know competing on stage to get and the the artist or the song that gets the most vote will get the trophy from the broadcasting you know the channel. And you guys might think it's just a trophy, right? But for us, it's like a life-changing thing 
Because once we get the trophy, people here actually judge a lot from pe groups that get the trophy and group that does not get the trophy. Like, you can see, that's how like, mm, that's how most people here judge groups that is successful and not successful. So if you guys get lots of vote, when you get the trophy, it proves that you have lots of fans. You guys are, um, you guys work really hard and it, it just like proves a lot, right? So to be able to like get a trophy on the show is a really big thing. And it's still a really big thing in Korea and um, for all K-pop groups, both boy band and girl group. I hope you will get soon. Yes, we will get it soon. It's okay, you guys don't have to worry. It takes time. I think going slowly and steadily is better than going up like that. Because going up like that, the only place you can go is up. And when you fall down, just go fall down like that, right? For, so for uh, me and my team, I feel like just going, you know, slowly, that, 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 and building a stronger fan base that we know that will love us and stick with us forever is better than just like going up like whoo, like that. That's what I think. ก็สำหรับการขึ้นเวทีแล้วก็รับรางวัลแล้วก็แบบเวลาคนร้องไห้เนี่ยทุกคนชอบถามว่าทำไมชอบร้องไห้แค่แบบมันแค่ทรอฟฟี่อันเดียวเองแต่ว่าจริงๆแล้วมันไม่ใช่คือการที่ที่เกาหลีเขายังมีวัฒนธรรมเกี่ยวกับเ,เรียกว่าอะไรอะรายการทีวีที่แบบเปิดเพลงปะสอรู้ว่าที่ไทยอะไม่มีแล้วเพราะว่าที่ไทยอย่างที่เราทราบกันอยู่นะคะว่าเรียกว่าไงอย่างที่ไทยก็รายการเพลงเดี๋ยวนี้มันก็ไม่ได้แบบไม่ได้บูมอะไรขนาดนั้นใช่ไหมแต่ว่าในเกาหลีเขายังมีวัฒนธรรมที่แบบว่าให้โทรฟี่เพราะฉะนั้นซึ่งคนเกาหลีเนี่ยเขาจะแบบค่อนข้างที่จะคือการที่กลุ่มที่ได้รับโทรฟี่เนี่ยมันมาอธิบายได้มากเลยค่ะมันอธิบายว่ายูมีแฟนเบสที่ใหญ่ยูมีเพลงที่ดีแล้วแบบมันมีโอกาสมากที่จะดังกว่ากลุ่มที่ไม่เคยรับเลยเข้าใจที่เราพูดปะเพราะฉะนั้นมันเขาถึงแบบว่าถึงบอกมันสําคัญมากที่แบบต้องโหวตอะไรเงี้ยเพราะว่าการโหวตเนี่ยถ้ากลุ่มที่เราชอบเนี่ยได้รับโทรฟี่อ่ะแปลว่าเขาก็จะแบบเลื่อนระดับปีขั้นหนึ่งอ่าเข้าใจปะเพราะว่าที่เกาหลีเนี่ยเขามีการแบบจัดมากเกี่ยวกับกลุ่มที่เคยได้รับรางวัลเหมือนเวทีกับกลุ่มที่ไม่เคยได้รับรางวัลมันก็จะแบบเป็นอย่างเงี้ยแล้วเวลาเรารับงานอะไรเงี้ยค่ะคนที่เขาเคยรับรางวัลเนี่ยเขาก็จะได้งานมากกว่าเรานะถ้าใครไม่รู้ก็บอกไว้ก่อนว่าจริงๆแล้วอ่ะมันไม่ใช่แค่แบบมันเป็นการแข่งขันถูกต้องมีคนบอกเป็นการแข่งขันถูกต้องค่ะเป็นการแข่งขันแล้วก็โอเค next is what we do after promotions um what we do what actually what CLC actually do right now we after promotion we rest but not only rest like we can't you know rest until the next album comes in Um, we also we also get uh, we also get lessons like we get since the trainee days because being an artist it doesn't mean that you have to stop practicing you have to stop improving your skills you actually still have to improve your skill and you have to keep it up because when I'm like right now we're resting right but outside there in the actual marketing world of K-pop there are a bunch more. There are like 20, 30 more groups that is coming out every single day. So what I have to do as an artist is to keep my levels up, keep my skills up, keep improving. Because when more groups are out, of course they're gonna be prettier. Of course they're gonna be younger. Of course they're gonna be they're gonna be more fresh and all that. So groups that debut for a long time, they still have to keep. They have to be better than they are. Because of the competition. 이제 쉴 때는 저희가 레슨을 받고 또 쉬고 근데 계속 쉬기만 하는 거 아니에요. 이제 가수이지만 아니, 가수 이제 가수를 데뷔했잖아요. 근데 실력을 계속 이렇게 수업도 계속 받아야 되고 연습도 계속 해야 되죠. 왜냐면은 나는 쉬고 있는데 밖에서는 이제 걸그룹 한막 30, 40 팀? 이제 만들고 있는 중인데 나보다 훨씬 젊고 뭐 훨씬 에너지 많고 훨씬 예쁘고 그런 팀도 나올 수 있잖아요. 그래서 계속 그냥 계속 
실력을 practice practice 연습하고 뭐 하고 왜냐면 또 이제 나가면 또 경쟁 It's war! Right? Uh -huh. Okay It's almost done people Idols public image This is something that I really want to talk about because You guys know what the word idol mean, right? An idol I, especially idol singer the reason why you see idols on news all the time you see the reason why you see the press trying to attack the idol all the time is because um, idol in people's perspective is that idol always have to be like perfect so what I think of um, idol public image like the things that we always have to take care and look out for is okay one saying inappropriate words so no bad words on tv no 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 drinking smoking clubbing no drugs not that because we're an idol and we have to be a role model for the kids so to be able to like we always have to be look good for the people because even though, like in the future too, like when people, the stuff you show on TV, it's gonna be on the internet forever. So you have to think about the other kids who are going to watch a video someday and follow you. So if you're, yeah, and we want good people in the world, so you have to be a good role model, right? And dieting, so you always have to be, pre you have to stay in shape, look good, because when you present, your, when you go, especially when you go outside, when people see you and they're like, oh, she's, that girl from that group oh she's that that you know how they do that and of course when you see pretty singers when she's actually she looks prettier than you see on tv you'll be like oh my god she's so pretty and then they talk about it people talk about it right and you have to always take care of your image your appearance your body doing dieting and all that because every everywhere you go you're not only representing yourself like for me where whenever i go outside I have to think to myself that, okay, I don't only represent myself, I represent my parents, I represent CLC, I represent Cube Entertainment, and I, rep I represent Thailand. So, I always have to be a good role model and make sure that I'm on track, that I do good things for the world, because I know that there are younger kids who are watching me, and people there might be they might be people who think that I'm their role model so I always have to make sure that you know I can that I can do every that I can help them in a way so just by representing myself on a public can I think that will help and also having manner and behaviors in this um, I mean like having behaviors is like treating your fan good and having manner is treating having manner with your fans, with your manager, with the staff, with everyone, everyone you work with, you have to be professional, you have to think about this, because people who work for you, like okay, when I, when we film a music video, just really, like people who takes care of the lightning, takes care of our clothing, takes care of our food, who drives for us, all those people are the people who are the most important people in a singer's life because there are the people who makes us who we are and there are the people who makes everything perfect right so if we don't have those people then there's no way for me to be sitting here right now and doing a freaking live streaming right so and I think this is a really good um, tip for any job if you get a job you always have to be respectful have good manners and good behaviors because everyone is you have to like work as a professional do you know what i mean yeah and the last thing is dating you see idols coming out telling everyone that they're dating that person they're dating that this person they're dating him her whatever um and personally i think in some country it's still not that open for the singers to come out and you know tell the people who they're dating it's not like Hollywood Hollywood because the culture is different so dating can also be a very big um, effect for a singer's life uh -huh. what next okay so basically what I've learned 
as a singer after I debuted is mm, to always, like last time that I talked about being a trainee, right? Um, a thing that I would say is I always have to, always have to be confident, always have to improve myself, and when I'm working, I always have to be respectful, I have to put on my best manner, I, always, I on, not only have to be respectful to the staff that I work with every single day and my members that I live with, I also have to be respectful to all my fans and other people, everyone who just comes to see us and to give us support. Because I know you guys are the one who works the hardest. And yeah, I've seen, I've seen fans waiting, us, waiting for us. It was like minus 10 or something and you guys like wait for us and just like just to just see our face for like five seconds if i i like i i still can't really get that like i my brain i'm like sometimes i think to myself like damn how do you guys do that how do you guys like wait for the artists that you want to meet for like when it's on when it's like minus 15 outside so i really respect the effort that you guys put in supporting the artists and that also helps me as an artist because when I see you guys do that it makes me feel like I have to work harder I have to be a better person I have to be a better artist I have to put in I have to put in more efforts in the stage and do all that and what I've learned another thing I've learned is I've actually learned that age is not an obstacle because I feel like sometimes when you, you have a good idea right but in companies there are people who are older than you and they have like a higher pos position than you are but I feel like telling them your ideas and what you think is a thing that you should do because idea is always yeah, you don't have to be scared to say what you want to say that's what I've learned because for some concept of CLC, like in Al CLC's album, this time I was able to be the voice of the team, the talk. And I feel like to be able to be engaged, like if you do a lot of research and you do a lot of like preparation, like everyone's gonna be open to you because, because you actually show them that you care and you actually, you can do it, so. I feel like age does, does not affect anything at all. And if you have something that you want to say, an idea that you want to express, don't be afraid to do all that. And don't be scared of people who are, you know, older than you and all that. Because it doesn't really, doesn't really matter, right? Okay. Uh, the last thing I learned about when I was a student, the first thing I learned about the first thing I learned about is the work of a professional. เขารู้สึกว่าการที่เราทำงานแบบ professional อ่ะที่สอนหมายถึงคือเราต้องเคารพทุกคนที่ทำงานกับเราเหมือนไม่ว่าจะเป็นทีมงานบบอาจจะเป็นพี่ manager พี่ stylist พี่ที่เขาเอาน้ำมาให้คนที่เขาดูเรื่องไฟคนที่เขาแบบขับรถให้แต่งตัวให้อะไรพวกนี้คือเหมือนแล้วสอนคิดว่ามันมันเหมือนกันทุกงานนะเหมือนแบบเวลาเราไปบริษัทเนี้ยเราต้องเคารพผู้ใหญ่ไม่ใช่ต้องหมายถึงว่าต้องเคารพทุกคนที่เราทํางานด้วยเพราะว่าทุกคนอยากทํางานเพื่อเพื่อแบบทําให้ product มันสมบูรณ์แบบใช่ไหมเพราะฉะนั้นเราก็ต้องแบบว่าเคารพเขาแล้วเราก็ต้องพูดคุยกับเขาแล้วเราก็ต้องแบบว่าเหมือนทํางานแบบเป็นแบบ professional อ่ะอย่าแบบไม่ขี้บ่นไม่อะไรเงี้ยทุกอย่างที่เราทําต้องมีเหตุผลอะเท่าที่สอนได้เรียนรู้มากับตัวเองจากการเป็นนักร้องนะคะแล้วก็อย่างหนึ่งก็คือสอนได้เรียนรู้ว่าอายุมันไม่ใช่อุปสรรคคือเหมือนโอเคการที่สอนอยู่ในประเทศเกาหลีใช่ปะมันก็มีพวกแบบมีเจ้านายมีซีอมีประธานมีใครที่แบบเขาคุมทีมพวกเราอยู่ก็จริงแต่ว่าสอนคิดว่าการที่เราแบบโอเปนไมเดตแล้วเราเหมือนเรากล้าที่จะพูดเวลาเราส่งไอเดียออกไปอะตอนแรกสอนคิดว่าเออเราเด็กไปเปล่าเราแบบพูดอย่างนี้ไม่ได้หรือเปล่าแต่ว่าพอสอนได้มีโอกาสที่จะพูดคือเขารับฟังมากๆสอนก็เลยรู้สึกว่าโชคดีมากเลยที่ที่ตัวเองมีความกล้าแล้วก็แบบโตกว่าตัวเพราะว่ามันทําให้เราได้รู้ว่าเรามีมีแบบมีมุมมองอย่างอื่นในตัวเราอีกใช่ไหมครับ
ก็วันนี้นะคะจบแล้วพ,พี่น้องเด้อนี่ยุคิกาจิงกอดเทียวเจ้าวันเล่ห้าสิบนาทีหายเลยก็ยังสกุลเนี่ยแต่ยุคสีเด็กก็มาดีมากนะเพราะฉะนั้นจิ๊กมันสิบนาทีนี่น่าเห็นใช่ไหมแต่วันนี้ก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นแล้วก็ยังสนุกสนานกับเรื่องราวที่เราได้พูดถึงกันมากขึ้นถ้าใครมีคำถามอะไรก็อย่าลืมมาก,ก,กดไลค์รอบหนึ่ง For those of you who have any other question like last time I said, comment on it or anything. I I actually read every single thing. So if you say bad things about me, girl, I've seen it all. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, for the next episode on Friday that I'll be doing, I'm planning of doing something that you guys want. Which do you know what it is? I will be singing. I will be singing on Friday, and not only me. I'm going to sing, and I'm planning of inviting a special guest to sing along with me. Hint, hint. I think you guys know who he or she is. Um, she's gonna be. I mean, okay, that person is going to be on my show on Friday. So for those of you who wants to see free concert. For an hour, make sure to tune in at 7 p.m. again, Korean, Korea time. Um, yeah, I hope that today I've um, given you a lot of. Did I inspire you or did I, you know, motivate you or anything? Um, I hope I did, just more or less. Yes, I am going to sing. Okay, basically, you guys all know who she. I mean, who that person is because. I'm so stupid. I just said it. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to be singing on Friday. So for those of you who are bored of this, you know, information, 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 you guys can watch a free concert on Friday. So don't forget to tune in. Okay. For today, thank you for watching. ขอบคุณทุกคนที่มาดูนะคะวันศุกร์นี้มีจะมีไลฟ์ไม่ใช่คอนเสิร์ตจะเป็นการร้องเพลงหนึ่งชั่วโมงเต็มถ้าใครที่อยากจะดูคอนเสิร์ตฟรีโดยไม่ต้องต่ายตังค์ก็อย่าลืมไม่ต้องซื้อบัตรก็ได้แค่กดเข้ามาดูโปรดิวเซอร์นะคะทุ่มหนึ่งเวลาเกาหลีเหมือนเดิมแล้วก็จะมีสเกสมาด้วยซึ่งสอนก็พลาดเกือบพูดชื่อไปแล้วถึงไม่ได้พูดชื่อก็เหมือนทุกคนจะรู้แล้วว่าใครยังไงก็ตามนะคะเจอกันวันศุกร์นี้แล้วก็ถ้ามีเพลงที่อยากให้สอนร้องก็อย่าลืมคอมเมนต์นะเพราะจริงๆแล้วเราก็ไม่รู้กันจะร้องอะไรแต่ว่าเด็กเชก็อีเจ้าวันนี้ก็จีอ๋อวันนี้ก็จีอันนี้กูวันนี้ยุคก็จีฮะกูคืนนี้เลยคงยังก็จีอันนี้เดียวเชก็โน้ตเลยเดียวให้กูมีได้เพราะฉะนั้นอ๋อถ้าคุณอยากฟังเพลงอะไรก็แนะนำคอมเมนต์ให้ฉันกูแล้วก็สเปเชียลเกสต์จะมาเกี่ยวกับเพลงเพราะฉะนั้นวันนี้ฉันจะไม่ได้ยินเพลงแต่ภาษาอังกฤษเลยนะครับเพราะฉะนั้นวันนี้พวกเราทุกคนก็จะได้ยินเพลงนี้ใช่ไหมคะใช่ไหมคะ My bad. I'm sorry. I'm not good at keeping secret. I can't. Then on the yokaji, I hope that today I've helped you more or less. Have a good day and see you again soon next time, people. I'm gonna go now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. I know some of you are very busy with work and school and all that. Just hope that. See you again soon, and thank you so much for supporting Producer. Love you all. Bye. Have a nice day.